So let's get into the next one, which I call more of a modern pose. Well, it's, it's pretty much exactly like the other pose, but the twist is, is that knee is raised up, okay? Instead of doing that long sweeping motion, this is more of uh, where your subject is kind of more at you, at slightly at an angle, but this leg is raised up. Um, to create that V, right? That leg raised up here creates that V and accentuates the curve in a feminine form. So when you're shooting a feminine form, you want it to look different than a man, right? So what's different about a woman than a man? It's this and this. So you got to accentuate those parts and make them come out, and that's really what makes a woman beautiful is her uniqueness to a man, right? And so that's really what I'm trying to do is accentuate this and this, and it works, okay? So you raise the knee, and it's essentially, uh, that's the original sexy pose, right? If you tell a woman, oh, give me something sexy, oh, they're gonna do that for you, right? That's the pose that they're gonna give you is that, and what are they doing? They're raising that knee to give you that V. So let's look at some examples, and then let's try it, okay? So you see that? knee raised there, and you see how that accentuates the hips. If she didn't do that, you wouldn't get that V, and that's really what you want um, to do. All right, here it's done, but you can't really see it. Uh, but the thing is, is that the pose, right, the head kind of goes towards the hip there, and if, like I said, if you get the base right, then the upper part works too. Okay, and so you can see how the hip is pointed towards the, uh, the direction of where the face is. So if I'm gonna put my hips out this way, part of this pose is putting the head where the hip is, okay? And then raising the leg of the other leg. So if my hips are going this way, then the head is going this way, and the opposite leg is being raised forward, and that's that pose. Okay, so again, here it is, look at her hip. Her head is that way, right? And I have the light towards her nose. See how everything comes together? Then I have the composition, right? I have my Scott spot and what's behind? Depth. It all has to work together to create a shot. Okay, when you're shooting hands, uh, I'll get into this a little bit later, but you always want to shoot the edge of the hand because it minimizes the, it makes it less distracting. Because if you put your hand and you don't shoot the edge, let's say you're shooting the hand, this is the same size as my face generally, the, pop, the back of your hand, so if you turn it to the side, then it minimizes it and what? Then your eye goes to the face and not to the hand, right? Okay, so let's demonstrate it, okay? So moving forward, and what I'm gonna do at this point is have her come back, and a lot of times what you wanna do, now Elena is super fit, and she's not the typical person that you're gonna get on <laughs> subjects, right? Uh, so what I like to do is kind of slight, not shoot their shoulders square to me. Uh, either way, whatever they feel comfortable, slightly at angle, and the reason why that is, is that that will accentuate the waist and make it look thinner. Right? And so once you turn slightly to the side, bam, they're 10 pounds lighter already. So you got that going for you right there. Right? Okay? And so now I'm going to have her pop her hip out that, and then now she's going to look uh, towards her hip there. And then with the other leg, I'm going to have her raise it, but they're going to put it together. So can you just pop head and then like what I'm doing? <laughs> right, okay, wait, let's get the lighting. This is perfect, right? So let's just have a reset right here. Okay, so you're just gonna pop your hip out, right, like this, and then instead of putting this leg out like this, it's gonna be towards, yeah, there you go. Can you get a little bit closer to your knee? Yep. And what you could do maybe is if it's hard for her, you could have her lean against something or hold something so she can lift that knee. So why don't you go over there by that couch, 
right? And that will give her support to do that. And so she's, okay, so I could tell this is what's going to happen to people. Oh, let me get this out of the way. So this is a perfect situation because you're going you're gonna to be posing some people and that pose will be foreign to them, like they've never done it before, right? And so, but everybody, you know, everybody's got their power pose going. They know what they look best. But a lot of times when you try to pose them differently, it's, oh, oh I've never done that before. So that's why you really have to know it. And, if, and, and so if you can break it down to every pose down, these poses down with the weight shift and everything, you're going to get consistent results every time. Because don't expect your subjects to know your poses. You're going to have to know it well enough that you can direct it if someone's just not used to doing that pose. That's on me. That's on the photographer. That's not on your subject. So you have to own responsibility for that. OK? Great. So, um, so she can lean on something, right? And so she can really pop her hip out, right? So if she leans on that, right? Um, OK, so now she has to turn. OK, so can I just demonstrate for you? Is that a lot easier? So let's say you're just on this side here, and you're popping your hip out whatever way you want to do it, whatever you feel comfortable. Let's say you're popping your hip out this way, right? So if I'm popping my hip out this way, my body is going to be a little bit here, right? But my head is going to be here towards the light. And you can see how I bring up this leg this way. Because I can put all my weight on this leg. I can pop it out. This allows me to lift this leg. And this is your support here. OK, so just do this. Body's kind of this way, looking off this way, looking at the camera. OK? You look pretty. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? It took me 10 years to get my feminine side out. Really, seriously. I was terrible at it because I didn't let my feminine side come out. And that, that's the hard. Can you hold this or somebody? Uh, is this getting in the way of the camera if I do this? No. OK, great. Perfect. So you're going to do that, right? Uh, yeah. See that? So you're going to really lean on that, right? You, and then lift that leg up. There you go. And then turn your body this way and then look back at me with your eyes. Perfect. And so let's get this light right in there, right there. Good. And then if you can just put this hand up like this, and you're going to turn your head this way and look back at me. Right there. Ooh, love that. OK? And so let me see if I can get that leg lifted here. Now, I know the, the lighting is a little bit in my frame, but uh, that's OK. Yeah, look down like that. OK, great. Let's do one more. Can we get the lighting way off to the side of her? Yeah, OK, do that same pose. So I'm going to use uh, side lighting right there. Look off that way and look down. OK, and now I'm going to get some shadow on her cheek. Yeah, right there. Hold it right there and look down. And let me see if I can get her knee in there so you can see that lifted. And that's going to be a little bit of a side light right there. Beautiful, right? OK, so good. Let's move on. We've got a lot to cover. Thank you very much. That was great. So that was a really good example of really knowing the pose. And that's going to happen a lot with you. You're going to tell them, oh, do the golf swing. Wait a second, I've never played golf in my life. And they're just not going to, right? You've got to know it inside and out uh, and know it to break it down. So that's why it's so important to practice and to get going with it.